Hey guys, I wanted to record myself reading so that you would be able to follow along um, with the book Tuesdays with Maury in case that's something that you need support with. Um, we're going to dive right in. So this is what the book looks like in case you have one, a copy at your house. But there's also a digital copy. You should make sure that you're following along as I read because you're going to be like 10 times more likely to reference it um, in the future with our reading checks if you can um, follow along and engage with the text. The first chapter is called Their Curriculum. The last class of my old professor's life took place once a week in his house by a window in the study where we could, we would, blah, 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 blah. he could watch a small hibiscus plant shed its pink leaves. The class met on Tuesdays. It began after breakfast. The subject was the meaning of life and it was taught from experience. No grades were given, but there were oral exams each week. You're expected to respond uh, to questions and you're expected to pose questions of your own. You were also required to perform physical tasks now and then, such as lifting the professor's head to a comfortable spot on the pillow or placing his glasses on the bridge of his nose. Kissing and goodbye earned you extra credit. No books were required, yet many topics were covered, including love, work, community, family, aging, forgiveness, and finally death. The last lecture was brief, only a few words. A funeral was held in lieu of graduation. Although no final exams were given, you're expected to produce one long paper that was on what was learned. The paper is presented here. The last class of my old professor's life had only one student and I was the student. The next part is kind of a flashback and it's written in the actual book in italicized letters on your document. It's probably not that, um, but just so you know that there's kind of a separation between the chapter versus this um, memory. It is the late spring of 1979, a hot, sticky Saturday afternoon, hundreds of us sitting there side by side in rows of wooden folding chairs on the main campus lawn. We wear blue nylon robes. We listen impatiently to long speeches. When the ceremony is over, we throw our caps in the air and we are officially graduated from college. The senior class of Brandeis University at the city of Walton, Massachusetts. For many of us, the curtain has just come down on childhood. Afterward, I find Maury Schwartz, my favorite pro professor, and introduce him to my parents. He's a small man who takes small steps as if a strong wind could at any time whisk him up into the clouds. In his graduation day robe, he looks like a cross between a biblical prophet and a Christmas elf. He has sparkling blue-green eyes, thinning silver hair uh, that spills onto his forehead, big ears, a triangle nose, and tufts of graying eyebrows. Although his teeth are crooked and his lower ones are slanted back as if someone would have punched them in, when he smiles as if you just told him the first joke on earth. He tells my parents how I took every class he taught. He tells them, you have a special boy here. Embarrassed, I look at my feet. Before we leave, I hand my professor a present, a tan briefcase with his initials on the front. I bought this the day before at a shopping mall. I didn't want to forget him. Maybe I didn't want him to forget me. Mitch, you're one of the good ones, he says, admiring the briefcase. Then he hugs me. I feel his thin arms around my back. I am taller than he is. And when he holds me, I feel awkward, older, as if I were the parent and he were the child. He asks if I'll stay in touch. And without hesitation, I say, of course. When he steps back, I see that he's crying. Stay tuned for the next chapter. <laughs>